Hey guys, Coach Tom here. We have got an awesome topic today looking at how to boost our power for our chokes like you've never seen before. Guys, I promise you, even after one day of doing these exercises, your ability to put on chokes with power is gonna go through the roof, okay? Don't trust me, do these exercises. Go get all those extra taps from chokes. Hear people talk about your squeeze, about the strength in your chokes, and then send me a message and thank me, guys, because I know this is gonna change your game. So, everybody's seen, okay, ways that we can boost choke power, okay? You can get stronger, you can learn better technique, and I suggest you guys do both of those things. But if we wanna cut straight to the chase and get you more taps through more chokes, we want to be able to replicate that choking energy and be able to actually train it like a resistance exercise, okay? Obviously, we can't do that with our partners because we'll choke them, they go unconscious, and they're not gonna want us let, let us keep going hours and hours of reps while they go brain dead. So we can use parts of our own body, okay? I have personally found, I have grappling dummies, and I don't find they work as effectively as doing this to yourself. And I'm gonna show you how. It's not gonna cost you guys anything. This is all free, it's your body, your equipment. You can do this and I promise you guys, your choking strength is gonna go through the roof. So let's have a look at the number one way we can boost our choke, and we're first gonna work on the back choke, okay? So we're gonna get our thigh here. Now it's very important, I've seen some people try to do this and they include their shin, and I promise you this is not effective. That is not how people's necks are shaped, okay guys? I want you to do your hamstring, okay? Right here on your lower thigh. So. If I wanted to train my right hand, I'd put my right hand around, okay? And I'm gonna grab onto my own shoulder the same way as I would for a normal back choke. I will then snake my other hand around on and I've got into my back choke position. I am now going to start choking as hard as I can. However, it's not just about the squeeze, guys. We also need to be careful we do two things at all times. One is the choke continually gets tighter. Okay, it must never wane. It must get tighter if anything. So for every second I do this exercise, I am going to be making sure it gets tighter if anything, just like a boa constrictor, constricting its prey. Number two, I need to make sure I breathe. In particular, belly breathe. I want you guys to be able to choke as hard as you can and leave your body more oxygenated at the end than when you started, okay? So to demonstrate this, I put my right hand round, I grab a hold and now I'm gonna choke and I'm gonna count in my head. So I might count to five now. So I'll choke as hard as I can. So that was five seconds. I recommend students do it for 20 to 30 seconds or however long you can do and then build every day just one, two, three, four, five seconds. Even one second a day, in 30 days, you're gonna boost your max squeeze by 30 seconds. No one's gonna be able to hold out on this, okay? So I normally like to do it for 30 seconds. I think that's a really good number. Obviously, I don't wanna bore you guys today, but this is a great thing, and do it both sides. You're gonna get so freakishly strong, you're not gonna know. These, these guys next that you're choking, they're not gonna know what you've done differently. But feel free to share this tip with them. So now we can start having a look at different chokes. So one of the other primary no-gi chokes is our guillotine. So now we've got very different squeezing energy, but we can still use this same part of our body. The benefit of using our own leg rather than a grappling dummy or even a buddy of ours who's foolish enough to let us choke them for a long time is that you can feel the pressure. So you might say, I feel it on my right side of my leg, not my left. So you can actually start to improve the technique of your chokes in a way that you've probably never had feedback, okay? So if I wanna do a guillotine choke, I can put my right hand around and I can grab on and I can get to however I like to do guillotines. So some people, for instance, might like elbows low or an elbow high, okay? Up to you guys. And then I want you to just pull like this. Again, I'm breathing through my belly while I'm doing this, but I can just count. Now by doing this, guys, especially with guillotines, this is very important because remember, guillotine should not put you out as quick as a blood choke, okay? If we're wrestling and I take a big breath and you hit that guillotine, well, you've effectively done the same thing as pushing me underwater. I'm not gonna go under unconscious straight away. I'm gonna go unconscious when my blood oxygen in my brain runs out 
or the carbon dioxide levels get too high and then I pass out. But if you put someone underwater, okay, don't worry, I haven't drowned anyone. I do do free diving in my spare time. They'll at least probably last for 30 seconds before they go unconscious. So it's, I always train this for 30 seconds. So I know just in case that person had a full breath of air, I can keep choking that trachea long enough for them to go to sleep. Okay, this is a wonderful exercise. And again, guys, if this is too much pressure on your hamstring, once you get really strong and you're getting some bruises, feel free to put a jumper or something behind. So now we have our final way to boost the power of our chokes. And this is gonna be specific for gi chokes, okay? I think this is one of the best exercises you can do. I think it has some great benefits, uh, ancillary benefits for your grip strength and your forearms. However, this is gonna be for our gi cross chokes. Okay, so I have my gi here and I'm gonna put my leg over my gi. And now I simply get my cross choke grip. So I might put my right hand in and I might put my left thumb in here. And now I'm going to apply the same. So I'm gonna row and push those edges in as well as the other tips that make for good cross chokes. And I'm gonna choke my leg as hard as I can. Okay, again, I'm breathing deeply during this whole time, but I'm getting now the power, okay? I feel my leg going to sleep. When you can start doing this, you're gonna have no problem putting someone's neck to sleep. That is a tremendous way you can practice your chokes. Okay, guys, that is for a cross choke. That works absolutely tremendously. I can now do the exact same thing for Ezekiel chokes. If you're a nerd for those, I know I am. So if I put my gi on, I can now do the exact same choke that we just did on our leg with an Ezekiel grip, okay? So for spider guard guys, this is a great way to strengthen your hands without injury risk. So my right hand can come under, I can grab into my sleeve here, and I put my hand over, okay? And now I choke, and I hold, and I count. So you might count to five, you might count to 30. And I know it seems easy, like I'm choking as hard as I can and I can keep talking. But I assure you, when you first do this, 10 seconds, 10 real seconds, 10 seconds like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, you're gonna be dying. But that's fantastic because I promise you guys, within a week you'll be at 30 seconds and your Ezekiel, your cross chokes, your back chokes, your, uh, your guillotines, they're gonna go through the roof, okay? This is a very safe way to strengthen your body. Your technique and your strength is gonna go through the roof. So you guys let me know how much this changes your game. I know it changes my game, changes my students' games every week. Let me know how you go, guys. Enjoy choking people more powerfully. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.